how Hanwha Life read the draft. Zack is very strong in team fights here and can actually have some threat on the KT lineup because honestly, Atlas, we have to go advantage. And they've been able to keep Hanwha Life very honest in their positioning around the map, meaning that this can happen. Score just has his complete run of the jungle for their teams, you know. I know what Score wants. He wants Tal, and he's going to get a free body slam in there. The ultimate is going to follow as well. Flash use so that Smeb can't catch up to him with his own, but he's in enemy territory at the moment. So much damage gets himself the passive shield, but damn, that barrel did some work as Smeb gets hit by the unstoppable onslaught. It's a decent array of CC. Two items and a half when he has his Mirror Mana transformation and a lost chapter on the way to Archangels can be big. Bono being evaded. Yeah, there's the flash from Smeb as well. They want to get that Cell Division. Ultimate comes in from BDD. Not going to be able to get any fears, but then it's going to tidy up this kill, deliver it over to BDD, and he's going to have a much better time in the mid lane. Even Snowflower was ready in the wings, waiting to bring them out. And after that, that first damage, which has been buffed, not going to be going down per champion anymore. Um, my life start this one up. Can they do this effectively is the question is heroic entrance is available from Smeb. They decide to engage onto Zenith, but Snowflower has himself the Devour to get him out of the way. Now Zenith's trying to get the work done. Flashes out of the way. The True Shot Barrage keeps himself alive as the hero's entrance comes in. And Lava is in trouble. Taken down early. Zombie Scion can't do anything. It's two kills so quickly in this fight. And beat it so masterfully tanking up all of that damage and Smeb now takes up his role on the front line and will score the last kill for this fight most likely is key and Sangyun have to look on in horror as they lose the fight. He's Hummer Life players but probably not going to have a chance to of course the Unbreakable fantastic against Gragas. He's going gets the flash is going to land it's going to save Sangyun but Key might be in trouble. Bono finds himself in exactly the wrong position has to kidnap his way out of the fight which is exactly what you don't want to do but score snipes him with another barrel this guy welcome back score so glad to have you on the roster he's just so far ahead deal of the deal with shelly as she charges another turret double charges coming in first star blood going over to kt as well i know it's not necessary to talk about it as much anymore but it's a little bit more icing on this cake that kt have put 100% together freebie on the drake because yes, they know that he's going to be recalling he's out of the fight for the next 15 seconds or so they wait out the two shot barrage more difficult to steal away those neutrals now yeah you're right the old unstoppable so will be able to escape it's a big button though and something that they'll need in these fights is he does spot bdd bdd deciding not to do anything frisky on his own now key's looking for it we've got a choo-choo train coming into the back line but that's the devour to keep the sivir alive and now lava is in amongst five members of kt and score successfully got rid of the other four by himself now Lava Zombie Form is trying to do some damage, but it's not working. Bono, once again, too low. Impressive in lane. No. So at the end of the day, here he comes. First meaningful pro game. It's actually been very reliable on Sivir positioning, which is not the easiest thing to do, but uh, that's not a great moment. Yeah, that's Cus Curse right there as the disdain has to be used here from BDD. And he's the one paying for Zenit's misfortune here as Lava takes a lot of damage. All the buttons have been pressed, but KT still looking good. The Ignite is down onto Zenit. Oh my goodness, Snowflower held on to the Devourer for so long, and Hamwa Life still unable to do it. BDD finally goes down, and the Zombie Scion uh, also is yep. uh, tall. That Trying was an one, alive. keeping Bono alive there, but looked interesting. The slowdown going to come in now as Score trying to get away, and Sangyun has to be respected. The cheeky auto is going to make sure that Key pays for the stand behind me that he did not want to commit to. Now underneath this time, not actually going to lose that much from this Ahamwa, but their health bar is certainly not there, and that means three Mountain Drakes now belong to KT. Used just to rotate and get the Sivir over to the Baron and start DPSing it down. Bono going to potentially be able to get in position, but this Baron's going down so fast. Three Mountain Drakes smashed that one down, and now Smeb able to get a lot of damage onto Key and Lava Zenit trying to find himself as Bono just not picking the right fight right here. Come alive. Wander away, they don't have their blob, Flubber no longer oh. able to... Racking up that score so high, another taunt on the bottom side of the map is Lava actually taking some relevant damage from Smeb. Now that that Void Staff has been picked up, Inhibitor going to fall down in the mid lane. As uh, Hummer Life Esports look like they don't have any idea what to do at this point in time. Smeb gets another taunt as Bono makes his way in, but could it all be a cunning ruse? As Snowflower makes his way around, wants to take his Gargoyle out of that potential fight. There's the flash in from Score. Tal gets himself out of the way with the flash, and now Hero's entrance does come in, but the GA's being popped, and Zenit has to flash to get out of the way. Bono will pay the price once again. Cell Division going to be in there. No teleports invested this time. Sorry, buddy. You are just dead. 
And the second inhibitor will go down. One remaining, and it doesn't have a turret. Definitely seeing the sum of the gold lead here for KT. It's difficult to siege with this comp, but when you're 10,000 gold ahead, you can make small mistakes and still win the game. Yeah, one of those games where you're smacking him with your wallet, Papa Smithy, is disdain from BDD to bring himself into the fight underneath these turrets. But they look like they're made out of paper mache this game because they are going down so extraordinarily fast. BDD not even going to have that GA popped as he gets devoured by Snowflower. They're just having fun now as we move to the end of game number one and a dominant KT rollster victory. Sung in a big health bar and a lot of items, but there's only one more turret here and the flash in from BDD as he wants to get that fear doesn't. As now Sung Yun and Key have to look on as their Nexus explodes. Definitely a game of two halves, Atlas. The finesse of KT in the early game to the brute force with the blunt force trauma onto Hanwha Life in the late game. 37 minutes, one of our longer games, so.